Presidential aspirant on a Kenya National Congress Party ticket, Gatanga MP Peter Kenneth took his campaigns to Sosion, Lekipia County, to popularize his presidential B. <laughs> Kenneth, who recently held consultative talks for a possible coalition pact with poor presidential aspirant Rafael Tuju, asked local residents to register as voters to enable them vote in leaders who can transform the country. Tutaenda kila pahali Kenya. Na mimi nitawaambia ile ambaye kansela alizungumzia tafadhalini mchukue kura. Tafadhalini mchukue nini? Hiyo ndio itawezesha kufanya ile mabadiliko tunataka. The Restore and Build Kenya presidential aspirant Professor James Olekiyapi has urged Kenyans to shun tribal politics and elect credible leaders who will unite the country. Kiyapi, who took his campaigns to Sultan Hamoud, said over the years politicians have divided the country along tribal lines and challenged the electorate to choose leaders based on merit and their development agenda for the country. Uki, uki kuchagua status quo ama kubaki pale pale chagua ni lako lakini pia ukiamua kubadilisha mambo basi nakuambia hivi wachana na mambo ya siasa wachana na mambo ya siasa chagueni viongozi Elsewhere, as speaker of the National Assembly, Kenneth Marinde, has urged Kenyans living on Migingo Island to come out in great numbers and register as voters in the ongoing voter registration process. Speaking in Nyatike, Migori County, during the flagging off of four school buses, Marinde insisted Migingo belongs to Kenya and residents living on the island should not be treated as foreigners. Marinde declared that he will defend the speaker's seat when the 11th parliament is elected. Yukai Mara, stay steady, because as far as I'm concerned, Nidingo is part of Kenya. Nidingo was created by God in Kenya, and it will stay in Kenya. Mutingina Kileta Nokoyoko, and Asena Nidingo is in Kenya, and Asena Meanwhile, after the chaos that rocked at TNA meeting, where supporters of Juja MP William Kabogo and those of Dr. James Nyoro, who is running for the governor Kiambu County, clashed, Dr. Nyoro has now hinted that he might be forced to quit TNA due to lack of internal party democracy. In a statement to media houses, Dr. Nyoro says he may be forced to ditch TNA and join the Grand National Union. But nevertheless, we are not worried because we know we have the popular vote and we know that people are going to elect us. Yeah. And in Nairobi County, businessman Jim Nambaru, who is seeking to be the first governor of Nairobi County, got a boost after the National Council of Women of Kenya endorsed him for the governorship position, Mbaru, who met over 3,000 members of the organization at Ufungamano Hall, promised that if elected, he will transform Nairobi into a 24-hour working economy and beef up security. Yo habari nzuri na mimpia na furai zaidi. Kwa sababu hata mimi sasa na jua. Ucha guzwa hii kiti ya governor ya Nairobi imekwisha siku ya leo, leo, leo. Ndinyeri County, Mukurweni MP Kabando Kabando has asked those seeking alliances with the National Alliance, TNA, not to ask for unrealistic demands. Speaking in his constituency, Kabando argued that leaders should negotiate with honesty and work towards uniting the country after the polls. I would uh, plead with uh, Eugene Wamalwa and Kalonzo Musioka and Musalia Mudavadi and Kanu and Gideon Moi to seriously review their decision. Chris Dairu, Citizen at One.